guys. We're going to Bravo for some dinner. Hey girls. I cut that out, I think. Center, center, center. Say hi. Hi. Going to get some dinner. Dinner. Going, going to that Bravo down there. We're going to get us some dinner. And then we're going to go to the escape room. They have this cool one. It's called Locked in a Room with a Serial Killer. Super excited about that. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Super excited. Shall I show you guys later? We just got the Bravo and we sat down and we ordered and we got the best bread ever. It's so good. It's like stuffed with stuff. There's like so many slices. Isn't like garlic bread almost tasty? It's like very good. And they give us this like, this is weird. I've never seen like a red oil. I think there's like tomatoes in it. Yeah. Came and it's looking hella yummy. Too. Was it not? I thought that it was. Did you tell her all yours? Got it. Got it. So good. Here's five bits. This is where we went the other day. We went there twice, actually. We did, um, we went to space. In the tomb. But yeah. This is so good. We got. Oreos and our chocolate milkshake. Can't see it. We're on our way to the escape room. We're gonna be locked in a room with a serial killer. <laughs> kill somebody or he gonna kill us. I'm probably gonna have to put it in another video, so I'll link that below. Um, because we're gonna be in there for an hour, so it's gonna be a ton of footage, and I want you guys to see all the good stuff. video below and make sure you subscribe for more videos. That's really annoying. Written blood. The last people that got killed from the serial killer. <laughs> oh my god. What's up guys? We're here at the house of horrors. We're gonna get locked in the room with the serial killer. For so um, oh. Her, 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 her. I can't talk today. 
gonna show you what we did though. Look at this! Written in blood! House of Horrors! <laughs> you really scared me! <laughs> Alright, well, the other one was over here though, wasn't it? Oh, right there. Escape the serial killer. You're watching the zombie. Yeah, but that sounds boring. <laughs> We're going at 9.30, it's like 5 after 9 now. We can't go in until 10 minutes early, so 9.20, and we're waiting for some peeps. You better, you better kiss me, it's your last kiss before we get murdered. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, unfortunately, um, when we were on our way into the escape room, they told us that there were no cameras allowed. This is how I feel about that. So I could not record. Uh, it was 60 minutes. It was so much fun. Um, obviously, since we didn't record it, there will be no link below. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> um, but it was super cool. We uh, we died. We had one more room to get through, and by the time we got into that room, what were there four rooms all together? By the time we got to the fourth room, the last room, we only had like what a minute or 30 seconds left. Yeah, like 40 seconds. <laughs> It was so much fun though. The first room with how they got us into the room is they put bags over our head. Black bags. There's four of us. They put bags over our head and they walked us. Like we had to put our hands on our shoulders in front of them and walk down this dark hallway and they set us up in a room and then they told us when to take the bags off of our head. And when we took the bags off of our heads, me and Gerard were locked in a cage and on the other side of the room our other two friends were locked in a cage too and we had to figure out all these puzzles or like not puzzles but like clues. clues and stuff to find keys and to unlock us and then once we got out of there we unlocked we unlocked both of us both the cages and then that then we opened another door which took us to another room with like a dead body it was like a morgue right there's like a yeah. dead body and a coffin and uh what is that called the morgue doors where you they keep the dead bodies in but anyway where they store those drawers where they store dead bodies in, in the morgue and he actually had to get in the coffin and in the, in the little morgue drawer <laughs> Super brave. I would have never been able to do it. I was screaming the whole entire time. He also had to stick his hand in the toilet and the bathtub to find keys. <laughs> and then that took us to another room, which was like we were supposed to be in a basement, by the way, and it was super basementy. Basementy. <laughs> but it was it was super realistic. We were digging in this guy's stomach and stuff to find codes, and there was Morris codes and Roman numerals. It was insane, like insane and then this other room that we got into was like um the switchboard room what is that the what's that thing fuse the fuse box it was like a room with a fuse box and we had to figure out the coal like which fuses had to be on and which ones had to be off um and then that opened up a door where we would like a little tunnel actually on the ground like a grate and it opened and we crawled through the hole and then that was that took us to the last room and it had just like a couch and a tv and stuff but we didn't unfortunately make it we our time ran out there was a countdown it was 60 minutes and our time ran out and all of a sudden all this so it did go by so fast it was so hard well kind of hard i guess <laughs> and um then like when you how you die is um they gas you so all of a sudden they had us like a fog machine come down it was super realistic we were like <gasps> It was so much fun. It was, and the guy said that it's the biggest escape room around. There's so many rooms, it's so big. I've never been to like a regular escape room because they have so many different companies that do it, and that was actually the first escape room besides like our five wits, which is kind of different than an escape room, I guess they say. So, there's that. We didn't get to finish our milkshake either. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to tell them about, no, about the room? Oh, we're going to throw in a picture probably here. <laughs> hey, what were you saying? Shut up. Uh, <clears throat> oh, I like Locked Up better than Five Woods. 
I did too. I enjoyed that way better than Five Wits. It was so fun. And they had all these little like air puffs and like different things that like would randomly shoot out and scare the heck out of you when you were like trying to search for stuff. You'd be like looking on the shelves and that. Like, Next time it's what, <laughs> escape escape room with a zombie. Oh yeah, well, we can't film it, so but we can tell you about it. Yeah, it was super cool. The serial killer killed us. Oh, and there was a TV, and he came on. It was totally like Saw. He's like, oh my god. He totally sounded like Saw. Like when I heard him at first, I thought like we were locked in a Saw room, like Saw the movie. You know what I'm talking about? What's the guy's name from Saw? Jigsaw. Jigsaw. Yeah. So that's what it felt like. Totally, we were in a basement. And everything. It was crazy. I don't know how you got in that coffin and everything else. Like, I would have been so scared. I was a little scared. <laughs> I was a little claustrophobic. <laughs> yeah, you were shut in there and it was small. But anyway, um, make sure you guys like this video below and make sure you subscribe for more videos to come.